All right, Tim, thank you so much for joining us. I'm uh, sorry you had to listen to us drone on. I love it. I love it, man. Uh, uh, you got me you fired up at the end there. Really fired yeah, up. I'm excited you, now. You, you cannot get any better than government gridlock. That means oh, man. you feel safe. <laughs> Anytime they can't decide on anything, it's always good for us. Right? Yeah, always. <laughs> Stagnation. So, hey. Don't rock the boat, guys. Don't rock the boat. Let's just yeah. let let let's let things ride out for at least another three years, and then we can we can talk about. It. Excellent. Let me get through all my investments, and then you know, yeah. then let's let's maybe change yeah. some things. I don't want to have to change my IRA, please. No, yeah. Yeah, please oh, no. man. What a horrible um, idea that is. It's just such a terrible idea. It makes no sense. Well, it it only it only benefits one place, Wall Street, and like it, yeah. it makes no. I mean the billions of dollars of transactions that take place utilizing that, that vehicle would mm -hmm. just be gone. And then what, like, yep. what do what do they think is going to happen? Like, we're going to have a complete, well, either, you know, the thing is, <laughs> I'll get on my high horse here. It's like capitalism is, Hey, if you want to get a loan through a bank or through uh, you know, a government sponsored entity or through wall street, you can, they have, they, they can, have to set their own risk tolerance. And if you want to get it somewhere else that sets their own risk tolerance and their own yield rates, get it through them. Like that's called capitalism. That's called a free market. It, it's all about um, punishing the people that have choice. And the as government has grown, they want to give people fewer and fewer choices. That's all there is to it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah.